To install the boost valve, your first step should be to remove the fuel lines and to remove the intercooler pipe. To remove the fuel lines, take off the two clamps of the fuel filter, lift them up in the air or plug them with something so that the air is not going into the lines and your pump is not straining to, be, to pull the fuel later. Okay, the next step will be to remove the intercooler pipe. Uh, to do that, remove the clamp from here. There's also one on the other side, underneath the headlight. It's a little tight to see it, but it, I have different style clamps. Yours might be the uh, original Volkswagen squeeze type. Uh, get that out and get the clamp out. And you also need to uh, loosen up this sensor here. It's just a uh, regular Volkswagen clamp that you pull out. This is the, the, the pressure sensor. Now that we got the intercooler pipe out, we need to pre-drill the hole uh, for the boost out to the valve. Uh, the best location will be right around here. Uh, this one here is for my turbo boost gauge, so right around there will be a good spot. Okay, to drill it, I always put a piece of tape, uh, masking tape or even duct tape works better for this. Uh, put it over the hole that you're going to be drilling uh, to make the, the plastic not uh, shed so much into the intercooler pipe. Uh, you will need a 5 16th uh, drill bit on a variable speed drill so you can start slow and uh, make sure it is a 5 16th because that is what the, the, the valve that needs to go in there, the, the, the elbow that needs to go in there, that's the size. and then you get a clean now that you got a drill uh, make sure that all the plastic pieces are out of the intercooler pipe uh, extra step that I take is I take out the sensor completely and I actually wash this and let it dry for a little bit uh, to make sure I have no water or oil in there and uh, another, another extra step that I do take is I take a one step bigger drill than the 5 16 um, and this valve that will self tap into that hole. Uh, if you get it too big you will need to use Teflon and everything so measure twice, cut once and this will self tap in here. Uh, point the nose of this towards the windshield so that when you put the hose on here it's all nice and tight. Next step is to put the intercooler pipe back on just to the reverse step of how you took it out. Let it go. Okay the next step is uh, put the don't forget to put the set sensor back on. Okay, next put the fuel lines back on. Okay, you receive a large piece of tubing uh, with the kit. It comes with uh, clamps as well. Take the clamp and put it on the hose uh, a couple inches in. And then you need to put it on the tap that you just drilled. Okay, so put the hose on the tap. Then with your pliers, just slide down the clamp on the connection. And then you need to reroute this hose all the way around here, go all the way through down to the N75 splitting over here. So uh, the kit comes with the zip ties, 
Um, you can put one right on this hose here, put one around the hose around here, and one right there, and you should be good. Okay.